That took guts. We need guts. I'm promoting you. You got a lot of problems, don't you? So you've been passed over for promotion again, and you feel frustrated and misunderstood and maybe angry. Or you're the manager of somebody who was passed over for promotion. And that can cause all the same type of feelings as well. Now, my name is Kai, and in my 20 years of leadership experience, that situation occurred quite frequently. And that's why I want to talk to you about this subject today. See, every company has their little carriage. We have the military and we have medals of honor. We have director positions, or we call it an executive director, or maybe you become the senior vice president of an organization. And even in churches, we have senior ministers. And if you produce a YouTube channel, that medal of honor is clicking the like button, which, yes, actually, you can do that now. But the reason for all of this, for striving for those medals of honors, for our promotion is always the same. We want to know that what we do matters. We can have all kinds of intrinsic motivation, but that external validation, that is still important to us. So let's talk about what to do when you're passed over for promotion by asking ourselves three questions. And the first question is, do you actually deserve the promotion? Now I see people getting angry at me because of course you believe you deserve the promotion. That's why you're watching this video. But can you answer the question how your work contributes to the company's success? Do you create processes that are more efficient or maybe save a little bit of money? Or are you creating more sales? What is your contribution? Can you answer it? And more importantly, can your boss answer that question as well? And as we are on the topic of your boss, are you certain that they believe you are ready for promotion? I've seen managers putting people up for promotion because they wanted to keep them happy. They wanted to make sure that they stay in the job that they are at and give them an incentive to stay and do even more and even better work. But they also knew the process and maybe they already knew in the back of their hearts that you will be passed over for promotion because you're not quite ready yet. So how do you avoid falling into that trap? One of the easiest ways to do that is speaking to your boss's boss. And I'm not suggesting that you go behind your boss's or your manager's back. What I'm suggesting is that you build relationships within the organization. And that can include having coffee or a lunch with your boss's boss and ask them about their perspective of the company, their perspective of your department and also how they know about your personal contributions. And sometimes it can be very beneficial to just ask them whether they think you're ready for a promotion. The second question you can ask is whether you fully understand the promotion process in your company and whether a promotion actually makes a difference to your life. See, in many of my past companies, there were only a set number of promotions available in any number of years. So they had to make sure that there were only a certain number of senior vice presidents and vice presidents and second vice presidents and so on and so forth. And then it came down to who made the biggest contribution in the company. And I spoke very recently to Paul from Productivity Ace. I put his channel here on the screen right now. And he mentioned that as a cost center, he works in an IT department and as a cost center, which IT is seen as, it's much harder to get a promotion because it's much harder to demonstrate exactly what your contribution to the company is. And that can be a reason to be passed over, but you can do things about it. Find a way to make sure that your boss and your boss's boss know your exact contribution to the bottom line of the company. Yes, maybe IT is a cost center, but at the same time, you can also demonstrate how you've developed your IT department maybe to have lower costs or more efficient processes and those contribute directly to the bottom line of the company. But what's also important here is to truly understand our motivation for this promotion. Does it actually make a difference to your life? And in some cases it does because promotions might be tied to a higher salary. But I've also worked in companies where that is not the case at all. Where as a director or an executive director or a vice president, you would earn exactly the same salary. And it was just a representation of the company hierarchy. And then you have to assess for yourself what's important to you. Do you want to have managerial position or do you want to have a specialist position? 
And I've worked in departments where the specialist was paid even more than the manager because of their skills. So be very clear what the promotion actually means for you, whether it is something that helps you in your future career, whether it's something that gives you more money, or whether it's something that just strikes your ego. And then it's a question of how important it truly is for you. The third question I would ask myself is, what does the company get out of it? If they promote you, what do they get in return? For example, if you're passed over for promotion, are you willing to walk away? And some people say yes, and those are the ones that typically get promoted faster because they see that they have options elsewhere. Other people love their job and the organization that they work in. They can't see themselves working anywhere else. And of course, those people get promoted much more rarely. While you can ask yourself those three questions when you're passed over for promotion, I do want to make clear that there is also an alternative explanation because sometimes a promotion takes time. Sometimes there are many political factors involved that mean that you can't be promoted this year and that you may be ready next year or that a position becomes available next year that gives you that promotion. So sometimes you have to bide your time and if you get all the right signals from your company, where they value your contribution, where they know how you contribute to the bottom line, where your boss's boss knows you, knows about your work and knows about your contribution, then it is often just a matter of time when you get that next promotion yourself. Of course, sometimes it is also valuable to get a little bit of an external perspective about our own career progression. If this is you, then follow the link that's in the description box below for a free call. We'll have a chat about your issues or your current state of promotion and maybe I can give you that external perspective. The other aspect of gaining a promotion is constantly developing our skills. And if that is something that you want to do as well, then consider subscribing to this channel as well, because every week I share new tips, new thoughts about business, leadership and life. And as I said before, the equivalent of a promotion in a YouTube video is clicking that like button. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.